Welcome to Sublimation 101. Our new item for Easter, you asked, we got them. The linen double-sided Easter bag. How stinking cute. Look at the size of that gusset. That is a wide gusset. You could put a lot of stuff in here. When I make it, it's easy. It's displaying it. What I did was I took some polyfill. Maybe you want to put some green grass on top of it. And I just put it right into the bag. It shows the size of the bag. I mean, this is a big bag. Got cute little pink ears. I love it. There we go. All on display. When you get your bag from Sublimation 101, it's going to come packaged to you, just as shown. Untouched, uncontaminated, no nothing going inside of it, nice and sealed up for you. Okay, I found a pretty one right here. I'm going to do the yellow ears. We're going to actually have four different color ears. We're going to have green, baby blue, pink, and yellow. Gets me so excited, Easter. So we're going to use our resealable bag, as shown. You know, this is what makes product presentation so much better. For you, my end finisher, you can put a note, machine washable, for more information about this product sticker right on the back. Now, what I like to do is grab that rabbit by his ears. No, I'm only joking. Is open up my bag. I open up my bag to see my work area. I just want to open it up. Then what I want to do is I want to, that gusset will fold down on you. So when the gusset folds down on you, what you should really do to get your bag nice and centered and line it up good, like I was saying, was open it up. Now, when you're going to press the bag, you're going to notice the gusset is right here. See it? You can see it on my finger. It's raised up. Now that might cause a marker imperfection. Simply cut a piece of cardboard the size of the bag and you're going to insert it right in. This is a beautiful linen material we have. As you notice, our weaves are cut very straight. I'm going to be doing an article soon about weave cutting. I'm going to have to teach some people about weaving, I see, in the industry. Okay. I'm simply going to take my sublimation transfer like so. Put it right into the designated area of my bunny bag. I'm going to swing my press closed. I'm going to put that bag right under there, ears and all. Now, when you're doing the bag, you want a medium pressure, okay? And you also want to keep the handle out. You do not want the handle under the bag in the heat press. That'll cause unevenness when you go to transfer. So I basically I'm doing it backwards as you would see. We're going to press that down 400 degrees for 45 seconds and once that's done we're going to open up our press like so. We're going to remove our transfer paper and reveal the beautiful color on our bunny bag. Look how those colors took. Don't forget guys, we have four colors of the bags. We're going to have pink, we have blue, we have green ears, and we have our yellow ears coming in. These are great for anybody. Again, what I did was, to show you, I took a bag of polyfill, sealed it up. I would throw some green grass on the top for my display. Instead of hanging up an empty bag, you want to show the size of the bag when you're doing this. You don't want to show, not only are you making a personalized Easter bag, but you want to show the size of that bag because that's where it matters. Size matters. Okay? Now look at the bag. Look at the difference in the presentation from me holding it up to putting it on the counter stuffed. Well, I wanted to give you a quick how-to video on to make the Easter bags. Thank you very much. Keep on hopping.